All right, guys, so a fan sent Pooby a surprise for his birthday. Yes. Cause Pooby's birthday was a few days ago. Maybe like, what was it, like a week, eight days? Yeah, he turned, turned 20, eight, he yeah. turned 26. Yeah, Pooby's 26 years old. So in the comment section, happy birthday, happy belated birthday. But a fan sent me in the mail, fan mail address, a gift for Pooby. And on the front of it, it says, that's good stuff. <laughs> and on the back, pray for my arm. Oh my God. Pray for my arm. <laughs> that's pray for amazing. My arm. So Pooby, this is your new filming shirt. Oh my God. If you want to go test drive it, your size. Large, so it's not. Oh, it's your size medium? Yeah. Oh. I like it anyway it's though. Because that's shirt. good stuff. That is yeah. good stuff. That's good this, stuff. This is good stuff. And then pray for my arm. And please continue I love doing that. that. So, so Pooby, <laughs> when you wear this in public and people say, when you wear this that says pray for my arm, people are gonna be like, what's wrong with your arm? And you go, don't tell me to tell a story. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's too painful to get into, but <laughs> I'll guess I'll tell you. I guess if you want me to. Monkey bars, it's, the whole shebang. Why would you put it on your shirt if you didn't want to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, That's like yeah. people that put their name, like a tattoo of their name, like so they don't forget it. You know what I mean? Or the people that post on Facebook, like pray for me, but won't like say why. <laughs> yeah, they want you to ask. Yeah. I feel like it's two conflicting messages though, because on one side it's like feel sorry for me, on the other side it's like I'm doing great. Well, well, on the back it says pray for my arm. So when someone comes out from behind you and says, "I'm gonna pray for your arm," you're like, "That's good stuff." That's good stuff. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that. I like stuff. that. All right, Pooey. Now that you're 26, what are the like lifelong lasting problems of your arm? Oh, oh, God. I mean, it's you know, it's like a mobility thing. You know, sometimes <laughs> I just have trouble moving it in all of these different directions. So that arm's faster. Oh yeah, much faster. Like, like, like do it. I did. <laughs> <laughs> So, so this one's just creaky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you, if you listen real close, you can you can hear all the bones rattling around inside. It never healed. No, it never healed. It's just a bunch of loose bone shards in there that just grind together, and it's really horrible. Can we get an example there. of that? Like a bag of Doritos you smack. Yeah. Oh, no, like we do that with sound effects. Oh yeah. <laughs> Broken glass. <laughs> You're a car goer. Yeah. What's the heaviest thing you can lift now? Uh, this T-shirt. <laughs> I mean, this, it, I gotta, I gotta actually stop because it's got it's muscular really, atrophy. I gotta save my energy for the puppets. Yeah, the, for the puppets. Uh, that's yeah, in, like a marathon. I gotta. So, Billy, now that you're 26 years old, you have to get off your parents' insurance. Uh huh. Yeah, so that's gonna Does suck. suck? Frightening. I have to welcome to 386 dollars a month with a 9500 dollars deductible and a 1500 dollars MRI and a 200 dollars blood test. Sounds great. Yeah. Really welcome to my that. life. I'm really looking. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so when I say go, I go. Dude, Cody, you did that on purpose. What? What? Is it, no, I didn't, Junior. No, I didn't, Junior. It was an accident. It was an accident. No, when you threw that toilet paper, you said, say bye-bye to your Thomas Piggy Bank. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> I just sense the animosity, bro. Dude, dude. <laughs> Cody, you had, you, Cody, you had vengeance in your eyes. <laughs> Cody, you had vengeance in your eyes. I saw him turn red. You looked so menacing and mean. Like, like a, <laughs> a no, 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 vicious. You looked like a vicious person. What? What? Junior, that was an accident. I couldn't have done that on purpose if I wanted to. I couldn't do that a second time I tried. I couldn't do that a second time I tried. Grab the mustard. <laughs> Please, God, no. <laughs> we don't have time for that <laughs> Junior. What <laughs> <laughs> a.m. We haven't got the done. We only got a minute and 20 seconds. <laughs> junior, I couldn't do that if I tried. Well, you did it because you tried. <laughs> it was an accident, Junior. Accident, Junior. You were an accident. Oh my god. <laughs> Probably accurate. <laughs> Probably. Probably. <laughs> yeah. I don't have time for this. Oh, now that you broke something of mine, mm. you don't have time for this. I'm so sorry. It was, you're so inconvenient by breaking my stuff and you don't want to hear me bitch to you about <laughs> being inconvenient. Oh wow, you have to listen to me get upset because you broke my stuff. You the one who called my mom fat because I didn't want to eat toilet paper. Oh, so you broke my <laughs> <laughs> So you went to violence from words? So from an argument, you got the you went to physical violence. All I did was throw a roll of toilet paper. I had no idea that was gonna happen. What if I threw a boulder at your mom? That's a very different situation. <laughs> How? You also hit Chef Pee Pee in the head. <laughs> you took your anger out on Chef Pee Pee and I on my piggy bank. Go. Oh! Cody, you did that on purpose! No, 
I didn't. Yes, you did. When you did that toilet paper, you said, I hope it breaks your piggy bank, Junior. I didn't say that. Dude, he totally said that. Yeah, you said it, Cody. And you, all four of your eyes looked really mean when you said it. Oh, yeah, he, he was looking at you with a vengeance, dude. Yeah, you looked vicious. Well, guys, it was an accident. You were an accident. Well, yeah, but Junior, I couldn't do that again if I wanted to. Yeah, because I only have one piggy bank, but if I had another piggy bank, you'd do it again because you have laser precision accuracy. Mm -hmm. Junior, you called my mom fat because I wouldn't eat toilet paper. Oh, so since I called your mom a factual name, you resulted to violence? Who's next? Yeah, who's next? Me? Yeah, you're gonna punch Joseph in the face? What are you gonna do? You're gonna rob me? All my money's on the ground in the kitchen because you broke my piggy bank. What are you gonna do? Is st steal Chef Me's wallet? No, no, guys, all I did was throw a roll of toilet paper. Oh, all I did was throw a roll of toilet paper. You make it sound like the bad thing you did wasn't that bad. Oh, all I did was key a car. All I did was throw rocks through your windows. All I did was unplug your grandma from life support. Junior, that's not the same. It is the same. They're all bad things. Oh, you know the difference between bad and, and right? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, like, uh, you know, Cody, if you hit somebody with your car, that's bad. Yeah, I know, Junior. Okay, look, I'll buy you another piggy bank. Oh, you'll buy me another piggy bank? Like it's replaceable? What if my grandma, who you unplugged from my support, bought me that piggy bank? It was it was priceless. Well, it's not priceless, Junior. You bought it from like a dollar store or something. Okay, so I can burn your house down tonight and just buy you a new one and everything's better? Well, no, because my house is worth more. Oh, your house is worth more? So now your stuff's more valuable than mine? Oh, oh, it's Junior's. It's not worth anything. But since it's on Cody, all my stuff's really valuable. Well, well, yeah, my house is more valuable than your piggy bank. You don't know that. Okay, I'm burning your house down tonight. I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna go on Zillow, look at the estimate for your house, and I'm gonna burn your house down. Well, Junior, I threw a roll of toilet paper, so now you're threatening me with arson? I don't know who arson is, but me, Junior, I'm gonna burn your house down tonight. Junior, if you do that, I'm calling the police. Oh, you're calling the police? Shouldn't you call the fire department? It's a fire! What are the police gonna do? Arrest the fire? Like, bad fire. Put your hand behind your back. Well, okay, I'll call both. Okay, well then we'll go call both, because I'm, I'm heading to your house right now to burn your house down. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, now you're going to run from your problems? Like, I'm just going to leave. Classic Cody. Yeah, classic Cody. Breaking people's stuff and calling the police and the fire department for no reason. Come on, Joseph. Let's give him a reason to call. Let's go burn his house down. Well, let's do it, dude. All right, Joseph, do it. Do you want me to do this, dude? It's not the first time. Uh, 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 yeah, light it up and then just put on the brake. Oh, <laughs> it's cold. Back up, back up, back up. <laughs> Guys, what are you doing? <laughs> what do you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> You're outside my house with a lighter. We're trying to light your house up <laughs> flames, Cody. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna dude. work. My house is brick. My house is brick. What'd the wolf from the three little pigs do? He huffed and he puffed and he blew the houses down. Junior, trying to help me blow. It, it didn't work. It in didn't the... even work in the story, Junior. The house is brick. And the house is brick. Okay, I'm gonna go rent a wrecking ball. <laughs> And, and take it down. Junior, stop it. Why? You like your house? Yes! <laughs> Why don't you marry it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go marry your house. Cody and his house. Sitting in and I'm sitting on the foundation. K-I-N-G. An old lawnmower. Slug. You really? Oh, slug. <laughs> oh, slug, dude! Dibs. Dibs, dibs, dibs. Dibs, dibs. No, it's mine! Dude, it's mine! <laughs> Is there really a slug right there? Yeah. <laughs> if we can animate it, then Cody can all be slug. Yeah. The most random thing. They drop what they're doing. Go. All right, Joseph, we're at Cody's house. Try to light it on fire. Are you sure, dude? This is not my first time. Light it on fire. I want to see his house burn down. Okay, say less. <laughs> Guys, what are you doing? Ah, Cody, what are you doing here? I live here. Oh, uh, 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 we, we didn't know that. We, we thought it was a random house. Yep, yep. Wait, are you guys trying to burn my house down with a lighter? But yeah, it's gonna work. Joseph, light it. Oh, I got you, dude. <laughs> right, it's not gonna work. My house is made of brick. Well, then how'd the wolf do with the three little pigs? He huffed and he puffed and he blew the houses down. Joseph, start blowing. What? <laughs> Guys, it didn't even work in the story. It's not gonna work now. All right, Joseph, let's rent a wrecking ball and knock his house down. Okay, we can do that, dude. Guys, just go home. Well, 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 why, well, why do you want to go home? Do, do, you, do you like your house or something? What? Yeah. Well, why don't you marry your house? <laughs> <laughs> Cody and his house, house sitting on the foundation. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes the mortgage, and then comes the payment, and then comes up with the baby carriage. Yeah. Hey, go marry your house, weirdo. Can you guys just please go home now? You know what, Cody? You're gonna get what's coming for you. It's called karma, so you're gonna get what's coming to you. So we don't have to do anything. Come on, George, let's get out of here. All right, dude. Hush on the light, hush on the light. <laughs> Guys, stop it! Just go! Oh, gosh. We almost had it, dude. <laughs> All right, you close the window. What's another way we can get payback to him? Dude, we're gonna give you his payback. Okay. Dude, we could poop in a bag, sit it right in front of his door, and then light it on fire. I like fire. It would just smell bad. Oh, you want to open the door and step on it. Just put, put, try to put the fire out. Just try to put the fire out. <laughs>
No one tried to step on fire. Oh. <laughs> it would burn your foot. Yeah. I guess I didn't think about that part. I, mean, I see fire, my first thing is to kick it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, okay, here's the thing. Once we get to the text thing, yeah, boom, you know, it comes, and it not being really him, who, then who's really sending those texts? I'm just saying, we don't have to do that. This literally could just be him getting <laughs> payback and it just being dumb. Like, like he just ends up destroying his phone. Then who's texting him? Who's this scary person? Oh, yeah, we're Chef PB texting the whole time. That's really Because we're knocking the f <laughs> out. Yeah. Okay, I like, I like mm. that. So it's going to be Chef PB the whole time. Chef PB is the one who's texting. Yeah, because we don't hear from him. Like, he didn't come and react. Chef PB downloaded a fake text and he threatened the goldfish thing. Mmm. I'm going to eat your goldfish. <laughs> I don't even have a goldfish. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even have a goldfish. And then you're like, Use the bathroom real quick and it texts him again. Get a goldfish and get a cat and I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Jerry, I just told you about it. So, this, how would this person know? I maybe that oh, maybe listen to my window. <laughs> or maybe it's you because you already threatened me several times and you went to the bathroom. And then you went to the bathroom. Oh, so I, 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 a guy can't go to the bathroom anymore. A guy can go to the bathroom without you thinking I did something bad? Yeah. Joseph can't lie. Hey, Joseph. What's up, dude? Am I texting Cody? Since when did Joseph not lie? <laughs> His dad was George Washington. Oh, my God. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> yup. That's a lie. <laughs> that is a lie. How do you know? Do you even met his dad? You don't know my dad. I don't even know my dad. Yeah. We don't know his dad. Since we don't know his dad, technically it could be George Washington. <laughs> yeah, he was born hundreds of years ago. Good. Oh, Joseph, I really wanted to burn his house down. Oh, me too, dude. Oh, but I guess his house was flame retarded. Yeah, he does love his house. It's so special. Yeah. Do you know any way to get him back? Oh, dude, we could poop in the bag, put it right in front of his door, and then light the bag on fire. He has to stump the bag out and put the fire out, and then his shoes are covered in poop. <laughs> well, 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 Joseph, when he sees the bag on fire, he's not going to want to step on the fire. He's not, he doesn't want to burn his foot. Ooh, I got a better idea. What if we poop in a bag, yeah. and then we write on the bag with Sharpie, please step on bag, and then he's gonna be like, oh wait, that bag wants me to step on it. He's gonna start stepping on it, and he gets poop all over his shoes. You know what? I like that better, dude. Because you ask please, he's gonna do it. And he's gonna say, please step on bag. I gotta do it. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Ew, poop. <laughs> oh, if you get a bag, let's do it. Yeah, I gotta poop already. Hello? Oh, Virginia. Virginia, did you leave a, leave a bag of poop in my front door that says, please step on me? <laughs> um... Uh, did you step on it? No. <laughs> what, why not? Because it's a bag of poop. How do you know that? Because I opened it up to <laughs> look what was inside it. How did you know it was covered in poop? Because I opened up the bag and it was full of poop. <laughs> <laughs> no, you stepped on it. Poop. Yeah, turry toes. Turry toes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't step on it. I, yeah, no, how'd you just poop it then? Because I just opened up the bag. Yeah, it, it didn't say please open me, it said step on me. Yeah, he's well, luckily I, <laughs> yeah, luckily I didn't listen to what the bag told me to do. Uh, yeah, like you didn't listen to it. I, I didn't. <laughs> then why are you calling me? Because I was going to check if it was you that did it, but now it obviously is. I didn't do that. That turf has feces, foot, sharp shoes. Hey, you're nurse. <laughs> <laughs> you nurse, give ideas. <laughs> fecal feet. Yeah, fecal feet. Oh, I don't know. What did you say? Uh, Turd toes. What's another word for feet? Um, I was going to say poop paws, but like... like uh, your, like, dorsalis pedis. That's the, like, technical term for, like, your foot. Poop paws? I don't have paws. Poopy paws. Poopy paws. Poopy paws. Poopy paws. <laughs> Go. We literally pooped in a bag and put it in front door. Dude, do you think he stepped on it? Oh, I think he's stepping on it right now. <laughs> he's like, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> and there's poop going everywhere in his eyes oh, and everything. Man, oh, man. Oh, my phone's ringing. Oh, that's probably him. Oh, I bet it is. Oh, I'm doing an shut up. Hello? Did you guys put a bag of poop outside my front door that says, please step on me? <laughs> I want to take that as a yes. Yeah, yeah, I want to take that as a yes. No, no, but <laughs> did you step on it? No. How do you know there's poop in it? Because I opened it up and I saw there was poop inside You totally stepped on it. Turn to turn toes. Turn toes. <laughs> Is it him? Is it him? Yeah, it's him. I'm answering it right now. Okay. Shut up, shut up. You know you shut up, dude. You shut up. Uh, hello? Junior, did you leave a bag of poop outside my front door that says, please step on me? <laughs> I'm going to take that as a yes. No. No, we, we didn't do that, but... Did you step on it? No. What? Well, then how'd you know there was poop in it? Yeah, turtles! Turtles! Ah! Turtles! 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 Turtles
I don't. I, I just opened it up and I saw there was poop inside. No, you totally stepped on a goat. <laughs> you have feces foot. You have feces foot. <laughs> I didn't step on it. it did, how'd you not step on it? Because the bag said, please step on me, so you totally stepped on it. What, no, I wouldn't do that just because a bag told me to. You totally stepped on it. Yeah, poopy pie. Poopy pie. <laughs> <laughs> step in the poop, step in the poop. Guys, I did not step on the poop bag. Yeah, you did. That's why you're so mad, Connor, because you're washing your feet. I can hear the bathtub right now. <laughs> no, I'm mad because you left a bag of poop outside my front door. <laughs> we didn't do that. Jenny, whose poop was that? Me and Joseph. Did you see that in the golf earlier? No, no, I, I didn't notice that. It's really bad. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna hang up now, Jimmy. Oh, yeah, wait, well, you have to go wash your feet? No. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. Oh, McDonald's poop on his foot, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go wash your feet, Cody. <laughs> yeah. Hello? He hung up. Oh. Okay, but look, I, I, I don't feel like I got paid back completely. Like, he can wash his feet, but I can't wash my broken piggy bank. That is true, dude. Ooh. What? I got the perfect idea. I'll download a fake texting app, and I'll text him and say he's gonna die tonight. Dude, that is genius! Best prank of 2020. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's not gonna lose all his sleep. He's not gonna be able to sleep at night. He's gonna think, oh, who's trying to kill me? Who's trying to kill me? <laughs> and no one's trying to kill him. Oh, bro, that is so smart. Wait, it's time 2020. Yes, let's do it. All right, so I'll, I'll go download a fake texting app. Come on. Okay. Ooh, a one take, Timmy. Okay. okay. That one loud was so loud and dragged on. <laughs> I love that he wasn't even on the phone for part of that. He'd already hung up. <laughs> All right, Jerry, I just downloaded Text Plus. And I texted him, and I said, this is what I said. I said, you better not go sleep tonight, because I'm going to sneak in your room and kill you. And I'm going to eat your goldfish. Oh, you mean business, dude. <laughs> Guys, you're Cody! <laughs> Daniel, did you text me? From a, a fake number. From a fake number. Saying you are going to kill me. Saying you are going to kill me and eat my goldfish. No, I don't have a goldfish. Well, I don't have a goldfish. I have to go use the bathroom, Joseph. Okay, dude, why are you telling me? <laughs> dude, I, I don't need to know where you have to be. Okay, I'm done with text one. <laughs> Alright, Lance, in the scene, you're gonna li you're gonna text us live okay. in the video from this from Text Plus. Okay. Alright, Joseph, I downloaded a texting app and I texted Cody. I said, Hey Cody, you better not go to sleep tonight because I'm going to kill you! Oh dude! I also said, I'm also going to eat your pet goldfish. Oh, I've been so nervous right now trying to protect that goldfish. I know, he's so in love with his pet goldfish, what's I'm talking about? I know, dude! Junior. Oh, oh, what, what's up, Cody? What do you have your phone? Did you just text me threatening to kill me and eat my pet goldfish? What? No, did somebody text you and say that? Yeah, whoever it was obviously doesn't know me because I don't have a pet goldfish. You don't have a pet goldfish? No, I never have. I totally thought you had a pet goldfish and you were in love with that thing. Nope. Uh, Joseph, I gotta go use the bathroom. Dude, why are you telling me? Just go. Joseph, did you need to text me? Uh, uh, no, dude. Uh, why would you ask? Because I know he's mad at me and it seems like the kind of thing he would do and he's done a lot of other really weird things tonight. Oh, he would never do that, dude. What's this? Never mind, I thought you had a pet goldfish. Still gonna kill you, though. Ha 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 ha, ho dweeb. Oh, man, I just got done using the bathroom. So what's up, Cody? Junior, you just texted me while you were in the bathroom. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't have my phone. Junior, they called me Codweeb, and you're the only person that calls me that. Well, Codweeb, that's a really good nickname. But, Cody, I did not text you. I didn't even have my phone in the bathroom. I was just washing my hands. J Junior, I know it's you. It's not me, Cody. A scout's honor. Y you're not a scout. That doesn't mean anything to me. Cody, would I ever do anything mean to you? Junior, you tried to burn my house down earlier, and then after that, you put a bag of poop outside my front door. Okay, you stepped in it. You no, I didn't. You turned to those. You turned to those. Cody, look, I did not text you. That's not me, I promise. I swear on my life, I did not text you. Okay, so it's really not you. It's not me. Well, then I'm going to call the police because someone's threatening my life. Well, at least you're going to call the right person this time. You're not going to call the fire department over a crime. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go call him. Uh, he's such an idiot. I totally had my fingers crossed when I swore my life. Oh, oh you're so smooth, dude. I know, smooth. The low battery. Yeah. Too dweeb. <laughs> so I said, go, you're going to say, all right, so... Somebody's just been sending this guy death threats. Yeah, it was not me. He's gonna say I did it because I tried to burn his house down earlier. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't me. Huh. Okay, we'll circle back to that later. <laughs> <laughs> he also put a bag of poop outside my front door. and I, I don't know if that's illegal, it's just gross. Alright, well, we're going to have to figure out... We're gonna have to figure out who's, who's threatening you. Who's threatening you. He's so lying. He's going to jail. But jail? Yeah, why, it's a, why? It's illegal to send people death threats. What if you just joshing? <laughs> just, just joshing? The death threats. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, they're going to do it, though. The law doesn't have a joshing clause about death threats. So they're all just illegal. If I call the bank and say, I'm coming to rob you, and I never show up, I'm not as illegal? Probably. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> He's such a bad call. <laughs> Good. Hey there, this kid says you've been sending him death threats? Me? No! Yes, you, Junior. Joseph, you've been my boy for years. Yep. Would I do anything bad like that? Nope. See, officer, I would not send bad messages like that. Cody's a nerd, and he wanted to sit at the popular table at lunch, and I wouldn't let him because he's ugly, and so now he's just getting back at me by trying to get me arrested. Why would you lie to me? I'm not lying to you. He's the one that's lying. Well, I'm not lying. I know it's illegal to lie to a police officer. Yeah, that's right. We have a pretty easy way of figuring out who sent the messages. See, I have a software that can track the message to see what phone it came from. So whenever we find that person, they're going to jail. What? Jail? Yeah, jail. You go to jail for sending messages? Yeah, sending death threats is illegal. Well, well, what if it was just a big joke? Well, it doesn't matter if it's a joke, it's still illegal. Well, what if the person messages and says this whole thing was a joke, don't take it seriously? Well, did he do that? No. Uh, well, hold on, I gotta use the bathroom. Huh, this thing was a joke, don't take it seriously. Huh. Uh, imagine I got back from using the bathroom, I was really quick at that. Huh, hold on, that guy sent a text message while you were in the bathroom. Hmm. This means something, but... but what? It means it's him! Officer, it's not me! Look, just because the guy coincidentally sent a text message while I was in the bathroom doesn't mean it was me. It's not me. Look, I promise it's not me. Go trace the number, and it's not gonna come back to me. Okay, we're gonna trace the number, and we're gonna figure this out. Well, but officer, uh, hypothetically, if it was me, and I hypothetically smashed my phone, would you be able to trace it to my phone? Well, no, because your phone's broken, so we wouldn't be able to find it. Okay, so I, I just want to know that. Wait, why would you ask me that? Because the new iPhone 12 is coming out, and I really want it. So if I smash my phone on YouTube for views, I'll, I'll make that YouTube money, and I can buy the new iPhone 12. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Make sure you get it slow mo That'll be awesome. Yeah, I'm totally going to do that. I'm going to break my phone. The, uh, the Chevy texting is only going to last like a second. Yeah. Okay. No, like one scene. It's not going to be like a scary thing. It's going to be like, yeah. wait, who's still sending it? And it's going to say Chevy in the kitchen laughing. If I'm here, and you're there, then... Then... Uh-oh! I'm going to it. Uh-oh! Alright, so what's left is we're going to break it. I'm going to throw it and break it. Okay, I did it. Darn it, I can't seem to trace this number. Mm -hmm. It was like, because Junior just smashed his phone. Well, smash it with a hammer! It's from Emperor's New Groove. Please give me a way, boo. <laughs> Please give me a way, boo. Well, can you do something? Oh, can someone do something else? Who wants to go get it, boo? How about just some kitty cat? It was. No, no. I'm sorry, Thomas. <sighs> I'm sorry, Thomas. Let's <sighs> 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 wipe my phone. Oh, uh, well, well, well. <laughs> Uh, if you eat the sweet thing, sweep this glass up. Sweet thing. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how many times you say it. It's pretty uh. Oh wow, I got the back pretty good too. This is how I type. 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 Type, type, type. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get back tracking that phone. Alright, let's get tracking that phone. <laughs> he wasn't even tracking. <laughs> I'm back with my phone. Whoa, dude. Whoa, oh, dude. Smashville, population one. Smashville, population one. <laughs> we in <a> 90s sitcom. <laughs> Can't seem to track the number. But come to think of it, I'm a Google. <laughs> I got a lot of pop-ups from really shady websites here. <laughs> oh, they have pills for that? It, no, it's coming up, but I am on HelenKellerSimulator.com. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Oh, no, 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 I'm gonna totally put on that. Please. <laughs> I need to die. Oh, that's a real thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But I am on HelenKellerSimulator.com. <laughs> Simulator.com. Good. This is how I type. This is how I type. 
This is how we fight, 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 fight. All right, let's track that message. All right, I just smashed my phone. Dude, Smashville population one? What? Yep, so I smashed my phone. Hey, officer, any luck tracing that number? Oh, that's weird. I can't seem to find the phone anywhere. All I'm getting is Helen Keller Simulated dot org. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I guess you can't trace it. What? He obviously smashed his phone so you wouldn't be able to find it. Well, no, no, he said he was going to make a YouTube video of him smashing his phone. Wait, kid, where's the video? What video? The video you smashing your phone. Oh, darn it, I forgot to record it. Huh, that's kind of suspicious. But then again, I forget stuff all the time. Like the other day, I forgot to not cheat on my wife. Can you believe that? It's like, oops, shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I'm so forgetful, but I guess that you can't trace the number, we should just stop it here. The case is closed, right? Yeah, it's too bad. I really want to know who did it. Yeah, the case is closed. Hey, what's this? What? Cody, you're still gonna die. What? Die, Cody, die? What, Junior, how are you doing this? Well, I'm not sending those messages, but my phone smashed. Wait, wait but it, it was you before, though, right? Well, yeah, but, but now it's not me. Wait, then, then who's doing this? Well, Cody, look, 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 look at my hands. I'm not doing it. I'm totally not doing it. Look, look, my phone is smashed. I can't be sending those texts. Wait, you, you can track the message, though, right? Look, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, 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 you're trying to track it, because who could be sending that? Let me see. Type, 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 type. Oh, my God. What? The messages are coming from inside the house. What? Really? Yeah. Let's pause. Let me find a way. I also didn't think I'd be able to reopen the laptop. I was just really see. surprised I did that. Yeah, I'll, like, I hit the camera. Let's just see it. Let's find something. All right. The messages are coming from inside the house. Wait, really? And if you're, if you guys are here, you guys are here. Then that means. Then that means. Uh oh. <laughs> Go. All right. Let's see who this is. Tight, 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 tight. Uh oh. What? The messages seem to be coming from inside the house! Oh, really? Yeah. And, and if you're here, then. Uh oh! Oh, can you see what, 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 what part of the house it's coming from? Yeah, hold on. Oh no! It looks like it's coming from the kitchen! Dun dun dun! Oh, it's going to the kitchen, see who it is! Yeah. Give me Chef Bibi type of packing. Chef Bibi, but why? Cody's like, yeah, Cody's like, Chef Bibi, but why? Why? You threw toilet paper at my head and made me spill my food. I go, aha. Aha. You're, you did You're, you're the texter. Chef Bibi, why? You literally knocked me out. You not, literally destroyed my dinner. You me your gas. Gas? Yes. Is this true? You assaulted this man with toilet paper? You assaulted this man with toilet paper bowl? Grand Larson. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But I'm charging you with it. Go. <laughs> die! Die alone? Die at home? Die in Rome? Wait, don't die in Rome. That's too nice. Die somewhere else worse! Ha ha! You're the texter! Uh, I am. Chef PP, how could you? Cody, you throw a roll of toilet paper at my head and make me knock over my pasta! Wait, is this true? Assault? Yeah. He also broke my piggy bank. Destruction of personal property? All I did was throw a roll of toilet paper. Tell him why you threw the roll of toilet paper. Because I was mad. Okay, yeah, and you also have anger issues. Okay, look. It's five o'clock in the morning, and we're all really tired. Okay, so you, chef, you're a grown man. You shouldn't be sending mean messages to this kid. And you, kid, you gotta learn how to manage your anger. And you, you broke your phone for a lie. That can't have been worth it, all right? We all just need to grow up. We all need to learn some lessons today. And the lessons are, be nice, just don't say mean things to people. And if you're watching this at home, just leave a, leave a comment below if you can think of a better ending than the one we came up with, because we're all tired and this is the best we got. So I'm going to try to read the best ending that people came up with at the end of the next video. Strong, solid 5.13 a.m. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like the strongest that you've ever seen. The best 5.13 a.m. you've ever seen. Right here. Cue the outro.